Well, I think it was around January 2015, um, right after Christmas, I noticed uh, my, f my, my right foot was in extreme pain. Like I felt like I'd break, broke it or something. I wasn't really sure. Um, it was just how much of a pain it was. And so I went in and said, yeah, I don't remember doing anything. I remember running on it wrong. Uh, so uh, they did some x-rays, said, no, you're fine. Um, sent me home, okay. Wasn't really sure. Uh, and then it slowly kind of went to the other foot. And so I was getting more pain in both, uh, both my, my toes and my, my ankles. And uh, uh, so I went back to the doctor, uh, my, my care provider on post, and uh, he said, um, you know, you, we're gonna take you to a, uh, a rheumatologist. You know, he deals with pain. And so uh, uh, we got there and he did some blood work and he says, yeah, you've been at your, your diagnosis of uh, rheumatoid arthritis. And it says, your levels that you have right now, I'm surprised you're not here with a cane. And uh, the medicine, he, he told me this is what, and the first thing he says, well, hey, you know, the medicine I have to give you, you're probably gonna be med boarded um, because it'll lower your immune system so low that you won't be able to deploy. And with my job that I have in the military, I, 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 if I can't deploy, then there's no need for me being in there. So uh, at first I told him, no, thank you. I'm not going to take the medicine. Um, I'm just, I'll, I'll bear with it. About a month goes by and actually I had a, a, a flare up so bad that my wife had to help me get out of bed, just to use the bathroom. And uh, so I went, she helped me get on post. They gave me a steroid shot. Um, and I felt good, but the steroid shot was really a temporary fix. And so, uh, and it worked for about two weeks and then it came back again. Um, and I was just constantly tired, I was hurting. So I went back to room with the rheumatologist, put me on the meds. I was on the verge of getting med boarded and uh, around May, June time frame, 2015, so six months later, uh, I get a recommendation from a mutual friend at work says, hey, you know, you tried uh, the, um, going to this uh, chiropractor, I have a recommendation from Dr. Brown. And at that point, I was willing to try anything. Um, I had changed my diet, I've just tried everything I possibly could, and I thought, okay, if you're telling me a chiropractor can help me through rheumatoid arthritis, sure, I'll give it a shot. So I came in and I was like probably at an all time low because like my body hurt and you know, and I'm looking on the verge and I have 18 years in, I'm on the verge of being in me beat. So, uh, you know, uh, close to it, you're under, under 20 years, so not good. And, uh, and then when he took the x-rays and he showed me where my spine was at and where it should be, but okay, that's, you know, whatever adjustments we gotta do, you think it's gonna help, I'm willing to try it. And, so we did, and I would tell you the first one was absolutely amazing. I could smell better, I could taste better, I could, my, my hands used to uh, be very red um, from the flare-ups of the RA. Um, they immediately, the, the redness went away, um, the, the swelling. What Dr. Brown does is, you know, absolutely amazing. So I'm not getting MUB anymore. I'm on my way to the Star Majors Academy and uh, so, you know, basically saved my career. Um, I tried to go on post to the chiropractor there, um, but he, they, you're basically a number there. You know, it's just a line that you go through and, and you know, they don't really specific cater. They don't cater specific to what the problem is. Um, I'm not on any medication whatsoever and uh, I have not seen the rheumatologist. In fact, they wanted me to go back. I said, no, I'm not going to, you can't make me. Um, I don't need your meds. So, you know, did the PT test, good to go, everything was fine. So, you know, found physically fit and moving on to bigger, better things. I would say give it a chance, you have to. You know, you owe it to yourself if you're in that much pain. Medicine, in my opinion, for what they have, especially for RA, it just covers it. Um, it doesn't really go to the cure of it. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 it just, I don't know, I, it, people with RA know like the medicine that they take and it's the same thing. You just feel really bloggy and, and just your muscles hurt. And I don't have that anymore. I'm in the gym every single day now and I'm getting back after running, you know, five, eight miles every other day. So it's good.